Hello again and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at React Spring. React Spring is an animation framework. It's a physics-based library that allows us to play with movement um, with different components. So let's get started. We're going to be looking at creating a blob like this one. I was able to set this up and customize it. I'm going to show you how to do the same thing. I actually found this on a code sandbox snippet uh, that was a bit outdated, so I refactored it. And I'm going to kind of show you how it works and how you can build something like this. Whoa. <laughs> All right, so I'm calling this thing the absorbing blob. And I made a component for it. Again, taken from a previous component, but customizing and abstracting various things like the color the background color, this concept of children I'll be talking about, and sizes. So, all right, I'm calling it from my main file here. And you can see that I'm passing something in the middle of it. So that's, the, that's something that the component didn't have before. It was just a blob. So what I've done is, okay, I want to pass some content through it. And I'm saying anything that goes inside this content, rather this component absorbing blob, will be treated as the props children. So actually, I could say something like, hey there. Right? It's whatever I put in there. So I already have this component. It's just a paragraph saying that they need to click the invite link to get started. So that's what we'll show. OK, so now we can change things like the colors. So instead of yellow, let's make it pink, just like that. Background color, we said none, but we could say green. So it's pretty customizable. And the way that it works behind the scenes is it's three circles that are following each other based on movement. Speaking of circles, we can change the size of the circles based on the abstraction. Here, let's make them really big. I guess that's uh, cool. Whoa, <laughs> this is awesome. This is really, really cool. Let's look at the component itself and see how I've done sizes here. I'm passing it as an object. We're deconstructing the object and then adding that style to the circle style. What's really happening is we're animating values between, let's say, 0 and 1, where instead of going from 0 to 1, we go through all of you know the various states in the middle. And there's different ways where we can ease into that motion. That's all programmable based on the React Spring library right here. Highly encourage you to check this guy out. I'm going to be posting this snippet if you're interested in customizing it. And that's what I wanted to show you today. I'll catch you soon.